Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Study Perfume Reviews. Today, I am very, very happy to be reviewing the brand new fragrance by Katy Perry, Royal Revolution. This fragrance was launched this year, 2014, and is Katy's fifth fragrance and third in conjunction with Cody. Now, this fragrance is like, when you look at the box, it just, it does say Katy Perry, or Royal Revolution Katy Perry, but up here, it says it's Killer Queen's Royal Revolution, which kind of ties it all into the rest of the family. Um, this time we have a completely different box than the rest of the Killer Queens. Um, the first two Killer Queens looked like this. Um, pretty much the same exact box, just one was purple and one was red. Um, also sheer added also sheer to the bottom. But, I mean, they were very royal and very pleated and whatever you want to call them. Um, this time, it is this box. Very different, very shiny and silver. Um, no real um, ties to the other box except for this logo. Um, almost looks like the, uh, like this logo, but they kind of like changed it up a little bit. And then on top, it has the same um, logo that was on these. So, um, kind of a once around the box, we had this filigree kind of fun stuff on the front, and a silver with like a metallic blue background. It says Royal Revolution Katy Perry Killer Queen, or er, Killer Queen's Royal Revolution Katy Perry. Um, it's got this really bright pink, um, embossed little thing on it that's just kind of fun. On the side, we have an R for Royal Revolution, the same R that's on the front, instead of having the crown like we had on here. Um, the bottom, yet again, has all of the information. And then on the back is a tagline for this fragrance, which is the scent of victory. So, the other cool thing that they changed was with the original Killer Queen and Oso Sheer, our insides were this color like like oh so sheer was a little lighter and then you had the killer queen but they were both gold this time it is white so that's kind of fun. It still does not come with a stand, um, for whatever reason, but the bottle this time is a blue color. So let me show you that. This is the bottle. Um, it is a very dark, almost gunmetal gray on top instead of how it was with the other ones where it was gold. So it's kind of a dark gunmetal gray this time. Um, still has the, um... My camera will focus. It still has that KP on the front and the double cat cross logo on the back. Um, it still does say um, Katy Perry Killer Queen on it. So that kind of keeps it all tied in. And then on the actual like sprayer it says Royal Revolution and Katy Perry. The inside of our cap is black, which I was kind of hoping would be like a, this bright pink color that we see kind of hidden throughout the fragrance, but oh well. So, kind of kicking myself because the last video I did for you guys was my favorites by each of my celebrities in my collection. I kind of wish I would have waited until I got this because this is my hands down favorite now. Um, this is a completely different scent than the other Killer Queens. Um, Killer Queen and Oso Shea were very similar to each other. This has a similarity in like, kind of like, Selena Gomez's two have a similarity in which there's just like an essence in the way they're built that make them, you can tell that they're a family, but this isn't anything like the other Killer Queens. So, the official notes of this fragrance are top notes of freesia and pomegranate. Heart notes are orange blossom, sandalwood, and jasmine. With base notes of blackthorn, vanilla orchid, 
musk and light leather. And this fragrance is actually um, based around the blackthorn. And I've had a lot of people say, what is the blackthorn? What is it? It is a flower um, that produces berries. They grow on a tree. And it used to be back a long, long, long time ago, um, it used to hold power in. People thought it was magical, um, and it was a very, like, prominent flower. The flower itself has a very kind of sweet scent to it, um, which is kind of how this fragrance is, but it's a little bit different. Um, kind of sprayed on this little tester and give you guys a little lunch around how this fragrance smells. So on the top, it is straight pomegranate. It's a very, very, very sharp, not bad sharp, but very sharp point of uh, pomegranate with a little bit of freesia to kind of balance it out. But I think it really kind of quickly dries into the heart because you smell a lot of that orange blossom and the jasmine and the sandalwood when you first spray it. It does have a pomegranate and then kind of very quickly comes down to that jasmine mixed with the sandalwood with an orange blossom supporting. And I say that because it's not, um, like, it's not super orangey and citrusy, which is super nice. Um, then it kind of quickly goes down into the base, and you smell that blackthorn a lot. If somebody wants to know what blackthorn smells like, this is what it smells like, because that's a lot of this base. Um... I think what's nice about this fragrance when it was launched and announced and the notes were announced, I was kind of put off a little bit because of the leather note. And I didn't want something manly and musky and, like, bad. And this isn't. I think that leather is nice, nice enough in there to keep it... Oh, excuse me. Nice enough in there to keep it rounded and well off but not bad to a point where it's super sharp and super heavy and super, like, brand new shoe leather. It does not smell like that. It has a really nice, like, supporting role in the fragrance. Um, it is a very floral base, but with saying that it is, what I like about this fragrance is it, the florals make it a gourmad. Um, and it's not a gourmad like, um, the Selena Gomez is or... Um, like Midnight Fantasy is technically a gourmand. It's not like that, where it's that super sugary sweet kind of scent. This is a whole new gourmand. Um, it's very, like, kind of like fresh baked cookies, but not like uber sweet cookies, if that makes sense. Like, it's got a weird essence to it that's very, like, light and mystical because this fragrance is no by any means powerful um and by powerful i mean in the like the scent um it's not uber 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 strong and overbearing but it has a very powerful um victorious if you would scent to it that kind of makes it powerful and important if i can't think of the word I'm going for, but it's not strong, but it is, has a powerful light to it. But it is very, very light, but it's something that you will get noticed with. This actually smells like nothing I've ever smelled before, which is nice. It's not a fragrance that's going to smell similar to, I know a lot of people when um, Killer Queen came out, they said this smelled very similar to Flower Bomb. Um, I don't get any other fragrances really to this. This is kind of its own new role. Um, I really, really like it because this blue is... You guys will have to get it in person because this blue is just gorgeous in person. I mean, like with the red on this one, it was nice because it was red the whole way. And it, it kind of tapered off. This, the blue tapers off, but it's still really, really there when it gets down to this point. And I mean, it is literally really 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 gorgeous um it's i love this fragrance a lot i imagine myself wearing it a lot this summer it's a fragrance that can be probably worn any time of the year because it does um have notes in it that are going to change with the seasons and make it more powerful 
in different seasons with different weather and different like intensities of heat and cool and weather. Um, I cannot wait to wait, not wait to wear this fragrance on a rainy day. Um, it kind of has that aspect of a rainy day to it too, which is really nice. I love scents that have rainy days. Um, and it's just a great, great scent. It's probably my favorite Katy Perry to date, hands down, without any question. Um, and in this video, I forgot to do it at the beginning, but I would like to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to my friend Melissa from Canada. I know I've talked about her before, but I'm going to thank her a lot for this fragrance because it is how I got it. So, um, anything else, you guys? Like always, follow me on Twitter. If you guys want to talk to me on Twitter, go ahead. Um, follow me, like I said, follow me on Twitter. It's Ada S. Perfume, Instagram, and Tumblr. All the links are below in the description. Like this video if you would. Um, hit the button to subscribe if you want to. Comment below for future videos that you guys would like to see. I'm going to do a lot better at trying to review fragrances that I haven't yet reviewed that I have. Um, so, we'll see what happens, you guys. Like always, guys, have a great day.